I am Ginny Andrew Mack. I was raised in Beartown. Without running water, no electricity. We lived a life of survival. Mom and Dad lived a very traditional life. However, this was overlooked with all the drinking. Dad was a lumberjack. He also trapped, hunted, and fished to provide for his family. Mom stayed home with us kids, cooking, doing beadwork, and making moccasins to help financially. I celebrated my 15th birthday with a drink. A year later, we moved into a modern home with electricity, but we still had an outhouse. After high school, I was relocated to Chicago for the next 10 years and continued to drink. Drinking became my career. I attended business college for a year. While at college, my sister, Janice, lost three of her children in a fire. I returned home to find my sister broken with grief. I will never forget the blank look on her face. To this day, we all mourn for her three babies. After a month, I returned to Chicago. I was drinking more, especially in the bars where I met my first husband, Hat Beaver. After dancing a few two steps and laughing a lot, we made my first baby, Sarah Beaver. Alcohol led to our divorce. During my heaviest drinking, I became depressed, leading to a nervous breakdown caused by a thyroid problem. After I started healing physically, I left for my first alcohol treatment program. This was the beginning of a new life for me. With sobriety, I began working at New Day as the prevention worker, where I met Eugene Germack, a client in the program. Another two-step gave me my son, Craig. Our marriage ended in divorce due to his relapse of drinking. I ended up raising my two children by myself. As a foster parent, my third baby came into my heart, Aaron White. He was an emergency placement that never left. I adopted him formerly when he was eight, and now he's 28. As I began to get my life back, I started going to ceremonies and learning our traditional ways. I made a choice to follow our traditional way of life. The gift of sobriety was given to me by the Creator, and I choose not to be an Indian giver. Sixteen years ago, I had my first heart attack. A month later, I had another heart attack, and the doctor said that I had an aneurysm. I didn't think I was going to make it. My family was scared and in shock. My whole family strongly encouraged me to have surgery. I had a spiritual experience during my recovery, which gave me a different perspective on life. I wanted to do everything I thought about doing. I started to make quilts, learning to make baskets, and showing my family I loved them. Last year, my daughter journeyed home to the spirit world. I asked the Creator, why don't you want me? My family surrounded me with love and support. Grieving is still hard for me. I feel like I am creeping, but I reach out for help each day. My daughter said she would have named her firstborn Brighton if she had a boy, but she had a girl and named her Vanessa. Vanessa had a baby boy and named him Brighton to follow through with his grandmother's wish. I called to him Grandma Grandma to honor my daughter, his grandmother. Today I am strong, sober, and I have the will to live. My seven grandchildren are the heartbeats of my life. So my grandchild you are not alone. You have the strength of our family and love to support you through life. Soft is the heart of a family.